Yo, what is going on guys? This is Black Haired Foreigner and today for True and Tragic is the crime that shocked New York, the murder of Kitty Genovese. It was 2.30 a.m. on March 13th, 1964 in Queens, New York City when 28-year-old Kitty Genovese began driving home from work. At approximately 3.15 a.m., she parked her car about 100 feet from her apartment. She walked towards the apartment complex, and that was when she noticed a suspicious man coming towards her. She started running, but was soon caught up. The man stabbed her several times in the back, and she screamed for help. One of the neighbors opened the window and shouted, let that girl alone! It startled the attacker and he soon disappeared in his car. Genevieve slowly entered a nearby building. She soon collapsed inside the hallway barely conscious. It seemed as if the only thing left was her being saved by the ambulance. However, instead of an ambulance, she was greeted once more by the attacker. This time he had returned with a hat on and he began stabbing her multiple times. During the attack, a neighbor living upstairs opened the front and peeked outside, but he soon closed and locked it. Genevieve tried her best to defend herself, but her empty hands were no match for a sharp hunting knife. Her hands were repeatedly stabbed, and she soon lost control of them. The man sexually assaulted her and ran away with her money. One of the neighbors held her in her arms, trying to soothe her while she was struggling to live. At 4.15 a.m., the ambulance arrived and picked her up, but unfortunately she died en route to the hospital. Six days later, on March 19, 1964, a man was arrested while trying to steal a television set in Queens. It was 29-year-old Winston Mosley, who was married with three children. He had no prior criminal records, but his white car attracted the investigators' attention. A white car had been reported by some of the witnesses to Genovese's murder, which seemed identical not only in color, but in detail. During questioning, Mosley finally admitted to the murder of Genovese. His motive for the killing? He said that he simply wanted to kill a woman, and that he preferred to kill women because they were easier and didn't fight back. On the day of the incident, he got up at night around 2 a.m. His wife was fast asleep, and he left the house and drove through Queens to find a victim. He spotted Genevieve driving home and followed her to the parking lot. She was simply at the wrong place at the wrong time. During his trial, his attorney pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity, but on June 15th, he was sentenced to death. His sentence was later reduced to life imprisonment with the possibility of parole. Due to the fact that he was not provided the opportunity to prove his state of insanity back in his trial. On November 2015, more than 51 years after his crime, he was denied parole for the 18th time and died in prison on March 28th the next year. Here is an interview with Genovese's younger brother, William Genovese, who is also a Vietnam veteran who lost both of his legs during his service. It takes 27 years before William can bring himself to visit the scene of his sister's murder in Kew Gardens. He rolls his wheelchair past the streetlight on Austin Street and stops at the bottom of the stairwell where a neighbor watched a man kill his sister. I hit the pits of rage. It's like I would have literally flown, and I was athletic, I would have flown down those foot into the face. I mean, I was imagining all this stuff to save the day at the end and thinking, Oh, now at that time she probably would have died anyway or, you know, and it just got to be, that's a fantasy. I mean, it's, it's gone, you know, it's gone. In that moment, he buries the lingering demons of the 38 witnesses, but he believes he knows what Kitty Genovese would have done if she heard the cries of a stranger. Well, there's a cerebral part of me that says, well, I have to be, uh, you know, balanced about this, and she was a human being, she lived in the city, she would have known. But push that aside, and it's like, she'd be there in a minute. She always stood up. She always stood up. You know, she would, you know, she would, she would stand up for what, was, what she thought was right. Mosley might have succeeded in taking Genevieve's life, 
but the love of her family is intact this day, and it will be forever. True and tragic. See you in the next video.